Hi everybody. So you've just done the macro photography film session. I think we should put all of that learning into practice. I've got a creative task for you right now. So I'm gonna do it as well and I'll talk you through the steps. It'd be really great if you fancied trying it and then you share your results with us. Okay, let's dive in and let's do some creative macro photography. So for this, you're going to need some flowers. So I've just picked these little ones out of my garden. You're gonna boil a kettle and you're gonna pop them in an ice cube tray and then we're gonna pop them in the freezer for a day. Okay, so I've just brought them out of the freezer. So I've got my Moment app open here and I'm just gonna change this to photo and I'm gonna make sure that my macro is selected and I'm gonna do these as raw. So I have my macro lens on. So as you can see very furrily, I've got my ice cubes with my flowers in and I've got a light on there and I'll show you all this in a moment. So all I'm doing is I'm just positioning my lens and I'm just gonna take a picture. Okay, let's just move that, let's turn that around, take another picture, so just getting it in focus. There we go, and we'll just take another picture. I think you'll agree, these look absolutely stunning and it's a really fun, creative way to use macro photography and to really push your photography skills. So again, I've got a couple of different options here, which I'll show you the results at the end of this tutorial, but I'm literally placing them on a white plate. So that gives me a very clean white background. And again, I'll show you an image of, of the setup once, once we finish this, but again, a couple of different ones. Now, here's the thing that I've noticed while I'm doing this, because I'm using ice, it's obviously clearly melting as I'm doing these images. So it does move around a bit. So we might need to rethink about how we position our ice cubes on the on the plate or, or on the background. So maybe a little bit of kind of sticky glue or a little bit of blue tack or something like that might, might work better. So again, I'm just repositioning these. I've got a light uh, coming down from the top. Obviously my camera's going out of focus because this is a macro lens. So as I, as I switch, to different ones, um, you're seeing that this is like not this is not a class in filmmaking, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up now because all I'm doing is I'm just creating different patterns for my photography, as you can see, and I'm just moving them around. So there's my light, so I'm just moving it into different locations to get interesting different effects if I put it from the top or if I put it from the side, for example. I'm shooting in RAW because that gives me the option to edit it and you can do that in the moment lens. But again, what I'm gonna show you are gonna be the unedited pictures and then I'll show you the edited ones at a later date. And there you have it, the results of our macro photography creative task. I think these look fantastic. I'm gonna keep experimenting and I'm gonna keep trying new things. I really encourage you guys to do the same. Please do send me your stuff in. I'd love to see what you create and to see how creative you get. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a quick picture of the setup just before we finish so you can see what I made. And here's the setup. A tripod, a light, moment macro lens, ice and some flowers. Okay guys, have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.